Welcome to Tin Can Program. This is the third video in our Career Mode Guide Series. Today we will be flying Tin Can 4 to Moon. This video covers Moon Flyby and Moon Orbit. We will present the mission as a single flight, but completing your contract goals may require two flights. And this video covers either situation. Be sure you have your contract for Moon Flyby. We already got it at the end of the last video. Before launch, we need to upgrade Mission Control and the Tracking Station. Assign the same pilot you used for Tin Can 3 so that we can make use of the retrograde hold during re-entry. Tin Can 4 follows many of the same steps as Tin Can 3, with a few improvements which we will explain as we go. This mission provides all the science needed to unlock our moon landing mission, Tin Can Turkey. Fly straight up to 25 kilometers before beginning pitch over. Like Tin Can 3, it takes about a minute to get there. Steering power will be limited until all the boosters are jettisoned. After they are jettisoned, take care not to oversteer. Bring the upper stage down to horizontal on a 90 degree heading. Once you're horizontal, reduce the throttle. Set it just above zero. Now we coast toward our app altitude. It should be about two minutes away. Make corrections as needed to keep the craft horizontal. While we wait, here's a brief explanation of what we're doing. If we burn full throttle all the way up, some of our thrust is wasted on raising the altitude of our trajectory much more than is needed. A lot of horizontal velocity is needed to make orbit, so we want to avoid wasting thrust on unneeded altitude. We want to produce thrust as close to our app as possible. Meanwhile, a low throttle burn allows us to make some progress toward orbit without too much waste. For Tin Can 4, we are just illustrating the principle. The difference is negligible. In a real use case, you would watch your time remaining until app and reduce throttle only as much as necessary to keep that time decreasing. The idea is to use as much throttle as possible without sending your app flying away from you. Anyway, when about 10 seconds remain before app, return to full throttle. When your PE altitude exceeds 70 kilometers, cut the throttle. Open the map view to plan our flight to moon. We will now provide a brief introduction to the Maneuver Node, in case this is your first time using it. The Maneuver Node is a simple but powerful tool that allows you to plot a burn and see the results of that burn before it is executed. Tin Can Program is all about learning by doing, so that's all the explaining we're going to do. To begin, place a Maneuver Node on your orbit roughly 90 degrees behind Moon's current position. Add prograde velocity until the plot reaches Moon's orbit and an encounter appears. If no encounter appears, adjust the position of the maneuver node. You may need to move your encounter to the other side of Moon to achieve the desired outcome. For best results, use the maneuver tool in the lower left of your HUD. Adjust the slider for better precision. Your target for this mission is a Moon PE altitude of 30 to 60 kilometers. Adjust the prograde velocity to reach this target. If you need to return to Carbon for a contract goal, Check your return trajectory at this time. Be sure you are not flinging yourself out of the Kerbin system with an unintended gravity assist. To execute the maneuver, wait until the indicated time. Align the craft toward the maneuver nav point and hit full throttle when the countdown reaches zero. Stay in flight view until the next stage, then switch back to the map view and watch your trajectory. While you wait for the burn, focus the map on Moon. Reduce the throttle as your trajectory approaches Moon, then cut the throttle as soon as an encounter appears. Make a few small burns to dial it in. There's no need to perfectly match the plotted course. As long as your PE altitude at Moon is in the 30 to 60 kilometer range, we're good to go. Delete the node and warp ahead to the beginning of our Moon encounter. As soon as you enter Moon space, press 8 to collect science. Now it's time to return to the Space Center. If your contract requires you to return to Kerbin after flyby, fly home now. Use a maneuver node at your Moon PE to return to Kerbin. Adjust the velocity until your course reaches 25 kilometers at your Kerbin PE. 
be sure to collect the rest of the instrument science from Moon by pressing 9 once you are below 60 kilometers. If you are doing flyby and orbit in a single flight, just return to the Space Center. With the flyby contract done, it's time to upgrade the astronaut complex. After that, get the new World First contract. It's likely for Moon orbit. If it's a different contract, you should return to Tin Can 4 and fly at home before you move on. Of course, if you're returning to Moon, you must first repeat everything up to the beginning of the Moon flyby. Whether you're doing it all in one flight, or returning to Moon, the orbit phase of the mission is the same. To orbit Moon, set up a maneuver node at your Moon PE. Add retrograde velocity until the flyby arc closes into an ellipse. Keep adding velocity until both sides of the orbit are within the 30 to 60 kilometer range. You may need to adjust the position of the node as you go. If you're doing this all in one flight, don't forget to press 9 when you're below 60 kilometers to collect a second round of instrument science. If you flew home, you did this already. When you're in position, execute the maneuver burn. Now that we're in moon orbit, you may have completed your contract. If so, go get another one from the Space Center before you fly home. With that taken care of, we need to collect six EVA reports from our orbit at moon. This is easier than it sounds. On the map, you can see several large dark craters on moon. Your orbit should pass over three or four of these. Each will provide a unique EVA report. After you collect a report over each crater, you should only need one or two more to get to six. With a little trial and error, the areas outside the large craters will provide the final reports. A Kerbal on EVA can only hold one report, so you have to go back inside the craft each time. The craft itself can hold any number of EVA reports, and you can see how many you have collected in the command pod's info box. Once you have your six reports, it's time to go home. Place a maneuver node on the prograde side of Moon, near where your orbit crosses Moon's orbit. Add prograde velocity until you escape Moon's influence, then adjust until you reach 25 kilometers at your Kerbin PE. This will safely transfer you directly to the atmosphere for recovery. When everything is ready, execute the maneuver burn. On the way back, we are going to collect a few more EVA reports. To start, get an EVA report when your altitude exceeds 60 kilometers on your way out from Moon. Get another one from Kerbin as soon as you leave Moon space, and then get one more once your Kerbin altitude is below 250 kilometers. It's a little dangerous, but you can collect an upper atmosphere EVA report once you get below 70 kilometers. Align toward retrograde first, and be sure to get back inside the spacecraft quickly. Once back inside, jettison the remaining fuel and then engage the retrograde hold. As usual, deploy the parachute at about 2 kilometers. When it's fully deployed, you can go outside and collect one more EVA report. You should bring home 11 EVA reports. Congratulations on completing your first moon mission! The next contract is unpredictable. You might be offered a moon landing contract right away, or you may have to do an orbital rendezvous first. It's possible that you've already done an orbital rendezvous. Proceed to the video you need for your next mission. That's it for this video. Thanks for flying with Tin Can Program. We are required by internet law to instruct you to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Tin Can Program is expanding to Twitch for Kerbal Space Program 2. You can find more information about that in the video description below. Thanks for watching.